day of coronation. Corona no fit stop the nation. This year day of coronation. Corona no fit stop the nation. Eh, hey, hey, eh, hey. eh, ah ah, coro, eh, hey, coro, coro, eh, hey. eh, hola no. I've been looking at everyone on this channel today is Easter. Before you even watch this video, I want you to give me a thumbs up on it. Press it, press that thumbs up and the notification there and share. I'm Fekhet Solu Ali Setro and happy Easter celebration to all our Christian brethren. So what are we going to be doing today? I want to be achieving this princess that Bostia our body spot like you see me where I've had so many people say they don't know how to really achieve it, come out well like this. So if you want to know how to do this, go nowhere. Let's go to the cutting table and see how it's done. Okay. This is the lining I'm going to use to cut out the Princess Dart Bustia Absin Cut. The lining, I just applied Estee to it. Not this, not Estee. I applied the uh, paper stay, just like paper stay to make it for the front panel. So I have the front panel unfold and the back panel to unfold. The Estee did not go. The back panel is uh, open like this. This is the open hand. I've created the zipper allowance. So I'm cutting both at the same time. So this is a super easy method. Yeah. So I have the horizontal dimensions. Let me just explain. This is the origin. Then from the origin, I have the chest line, which is, if you don't know how to get your chest line, I'm all on this. Just watch my video on basic bodies. That's your bust divided by 6 plus 1.5 inches. So the bust is 38 divided by 6 plus 1.5 inches. Gave me 7.8. That's the chest line. Then this is the bust line, the bust point. Then this is the underbust. And this is the half length, 17 inches. So by this, you could use this. This can be used for a flay top and all the likes. Using it, bust 38. The underburst is 32. Then half circumference, waist circumference is uh, 34. So with this right now, we get to the shoulder is 16. 16 divided by 2 is going to give us 8. So... You mark your eight at this point. Then I'm going to make it, I'm going to make the front to be Keno neck and the back to be V neck. So just watch and see, I'm going to do it. So this eight inches for the Keno neck line, I'm going to use five and a half width by two inches depth. So with this for a Keno neck line, so you just use your pattern master this way or if you don't have a pattern master you can just use your hand to curve it so with this i'll come to this i'll do this is the shoulder measurement i'll do the one inch shoulder slope slant i'll come down by one inch then i'll slant the shoulder this way can you see that then i'll come down just to the chest line and get my arm all. You know, get the midpoint of this. Please, if you're confused on this, just check my measurements, uh, basic bodies video. So, getting this will get out the midpoint. Then I'll go in by half inch for the front arm all. What's my bust measurements? I could add, my bust measurement is nine and a half inch. So, nine and a half inch. So that means, that's just it. I added one and a half inch to this. So I just had. So we've got in a handhold just like so. So the next thing we're gonna do right now is to get the bustier shape, gang, gang. So, very, very easy. We know we're doing the front and the back panel together. You just come and say, what is your across bust or nipple to nipple measurement? For this is eight. Eight divided by two because it's on two foot. That's four inches. So you come to the bust line like so. You get the four inches across bust. So getting the nipple to nipple measurement on the bust, on the bust and waist half length position or get it this way and roll out so so easy your bustier shape is going to come out nice once your 
measurement is okay. I've been having people saying, I want to get my bustier shape very well. Your measurements must be accurate. That's what makes the bustier shape to come out very well. And in case you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and share. So the next thing you're going to do is just that from these bust points, you don't need the four inches on the chest line. We just use that to achieve our ammo. From these bust points, you're going to connect to this. Uh, it's so, so easy. You can use your hand if you don't have cough to whatever. So you just connect to this half inch uh, point, like so. So right now to cut out our darts, from this midpoint, I'm going to take uh, two inches, I could take two inches, or I could take uh, one and a half inch. So I, I'm going to come down by one and a half inch. Or let me use two inches this time because I'm going to also go in by two inches on the underburst. So to get our bustier shape, I'll just come to this underburst. I'll go in by two inches. Let me explain this. If you have somebody that is very busty, like 48, 50, you go in by two and a half inch or three inch. If you have somebody that is not really busty, maybe uh, 30, 35, you go in by one and a half inch so here i'm going to go in by two inches so and use half same two inches on the half length position like so so you just roll this down then you connect this using this type part of your pattern master you must make sure that this place is curvy Bustier shape. So your bustier shape is already out. So you just draw out this on this uh two inches that you came down. You know, we went in by two inches. I still use the two inches to achieve the darts from the arm hole, the princess darts from the arm hole point like this. So you just use you take a curvy part and make sure the bust shape comes out in a curvy way. Then I'm going to extend this by one or one and a half inch so that by this time i'm stitching it's not going to be short off so you curve properly and with this we are good to go so you want to see that it's super easy right now with this method. So what you do just right now is just to take the horizontal dimensions of the measurement. This is the burst line. You take on this burst line, you take what uh, the burst measurement circumference divided by four. That's burst 38 divided by four is giving us nine and a half. Nine and a half. So. I'm going to be add, adding these two inches on all this uh, measurement. These two inches that I removed, I'm going to add it. So then whatever you stitch on, maybe you stitch on, could add one inch allowance or one and a half inch or two inches to be on the safer side. That is what I do. I'm just giving you that secret. So if it's too much, I cut off. It's better it's you have excess than having a shortfall. So you could take the underburst and... And do the underburst. By the time you get to the underburst, when you're shaping, you shape on the underburst. I just want to get a, a straight cut here. So I come to the half length. That's the waist, the circumference. That's 34. 34 divided by 4 is giving us 8 and a half inches. This is 8 and a half. So remember, you're going to add these 2 inches. Then you had your stitching allowance, whatever you use for stitching. So remember, and you know that once you cut pieces, by the time you're stitching, they'll be short for. That's why I'm giving you the secret. You just add two more. So with this, we're cool. We're good to go. You just have a straight dimension. If you had your uh, underburst, you're going to have it cut this way. But when you want to stitch, make sure you put the underburst dimension. So you have it just like so. And with this, you're going to make an extension. Extend this. This is crucial and important, please. Make this extension and let this point connect. Mm. 
Remember, I did one and a half inches extension there. Why we're doing this extension is because of the shortfall while you are at when, when you're stitching your princess that. So with this, it's pretty good, cool. Can you see it's easy? I'm cutting just both the front and the back panel together right now. But what is what I'm not going to cut together is the neckline. I'm not going to cut the neckline. Then when I'm done, we're going to see what I'm going to do. Yeah, let's cut. I've cut the shoulder slope of the back and the front panel together. If you want to use for both front and back uh, neckline to be Ken neckline, you cut same. But because I want to have a V neckline at the back, you just notch the uh, the neckline edge like so. You know that this is the neckline edge, and you just achieve your V neckline by saying what this is the origin. Let me say I want to use a for six inches uh, V at the back, V neckline depth by five and a half inches uh, width. So I'll just achieve the V neckline at the back like so. So can you see these are to achieve different necklines for both the front and the back panel. And remember this, this is the zipper allowance. So it's just gonna go like so. So you just cut out for the back panel. Already now we have the center panel for the front for the front panel and the back panel ready like so this is the center panel for the front panel and the back panel so it's remaining the sides right now the sides so for the sides uh remember so with this you have your front bodies and the back, I'll show you what to do to achieve the back right now. But what you do here, before you go on, you notch, it's so important, you notch this uh, up burst uh, line, you notch it on the center and on the side, and this on the burst is so, so important, so that by the time you're stitching, they will be accurate. So you know that this must go for this, and this must also go for this. So this was what I was trying to say. By the time you notch this bust line on the side, on the center, by the time you're stitching, they must align together on the burst. So that's it. So for the back panel, what you're going to do to achieve the side back, remember there is no bust shape at the back. That's why I told you this is super pretty easy. You just roll away the bust shape like this instead of you cutting, cutting, cutting away. So you just roll away this bust shape. So you just achieve it this way. So, and with this, just cut out and you've achieved the shape for the back. So with this, you have your back just like so by the time you stitch and you have your front so you don't have to cut separately. This is how the front panel looks like. Just like as in by the time you now stitch, it's going to come out with the canoe neckline and the princess that bustial we really be super. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and in just less than 15 minutes, that's how to achieve your bustial jet uh, cords in a very easy way, as easy as A and B and C. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, and share. Stay safe during this coronavirus period and make good use of it by getting yourself as in employed. Employ yourself by enrolling on Central Fashion School. We have crazy discount right now, up to 50% discount. So just WhatsApp us on the numbers showing below. Please stay safe and just keep yourself good. Love you really good. Bye-bye. You may like to watch this video or